So let me walk you through an imaginary scenario. You're someone who has watched hundreds of YouTube videos about AI agents and automations, and you're actually getting pretty good at it. But you're no closer today than you were at the very beginning at actually making some money with these skills. Sound familiar? Well, if we wanna actually start making some money with AI, what are we supposed to do? Well, most people take the complete wrong approach, they fulfill the definition of insanity, and they just start over at the beginning. More tutorials, more agents, more automations, thinking, hey, if I reach this mythical level of AI expertise, all of a sudden, people are gonna start giving me money. But that's not how it works. In fact, taking that approach is gonna do way more harm than good because there's two parts of the equation to making money with AI. First is the AI piece, and you just have to get good enough. You don't have to be a complete expert. And the second part is actually sourcing clients, which is a completely different skill set and one you should be spending more time on than the first. So in this video, we are gonna define what good enough actually looks like, and then we're gonna talk about the second part, sourcing clients, how to do it, what those funnels look like, so you can actually start capitalizing on these AI skills you already have. So if you're somebody who's trying to start their own AI agency, wants to actually make some money in the space, this video is for you, and let's get started. Take a look at this personal assistant AI agent. If I asked you to explain to me how this thing works, and you can do that, then you know enough about AI to start selling AI solutions. Do you need to know how to build personal assistant AI agents? No, because nobody buys these things, no matter what YouTube tells you. But what you do need to know is sort of the fundamentals, right? And actually personal assistants are a great job of showing that. What do I mean? First of all, you need to understand how APIs work, right? Because every single client's gonna have some sort of API that they want put into an AI agent, and it's gonna differ from API to API. But if you can look at this and I say, hey, here's a Tavily API. Can you explain this to me? How do I get the key? How do I know what to put for the URL? How do I get all this information? How do I change what the API does and where would I look to find that information, AKA documentation? If you understand that process, you know enough about APIs. If you can look at this AI agent and tell me, hey, here's how it interacts with the chat model and here's how it interacts with its different tools, including sub agents via a system prompt, then you know enough about how AI agents work under the hood to sell AI agents. If you can look at these web hooks that right now are hooked up to 11 labs, and you can kind of tell me again, high level, how we're able to have this AI agent interact with the user outside of N8N, AKA put it on a website, put it on something you made in Lovable, shove it inside a CRM, then you know enough about AI agents integrating to external apps to sell AI solutions. I'm not joking. That's pretty much the technical bar you need to be able to sell these things. In an ideal world, would it be great if you can look at this sort of agentic rag system I built and recreate this from scratch and tell me right off the bat how all this stuff is syncing up and how it's working, how Postgres sets this up? That'd be great, right? That would be awesome. But you do not need this level of expertise. Furthermore, if you just know where to go to find this stuff, if you know, hey, I have an idea of where rag is, but I know where I can learn more, and I have an idea of how I could build a template, but I know where I could find one, again, you're at the place where you need to be to sell these things. And if you don't know that, well, first of all, I would take a look at my five hour NADN masterclass, like get the AI fundamentals. If you go through that, you honestly know enough. And if you're like, well, where do I actually go to find these things? For me personally, that would be perplexity. This is where I go whenever I have a question about, well, some client wants some sort of system, but I've never done it, but someone else definitely has. This is where I go. I just explain the system I want. So let's say I was looking for a Gentech rag system with Superbase in N8N Bamble. Maybe some client wanted something like that. I would just search for it. You know what it's gonna show me? It's gonna show me YouTube videos, which are gonna lead me to templates, which in, I can also search for this on the N8N website, right? You have to be able to know where to go when you don't know something, right? That is the technical bar you must pass to be ready to sell AI agents. That's it, nothing more. It's not crazy. You're probably already there. And so, like we talked about in the beginning, the first half of this making money in AI piece, the AI expertise stuff, it's not that hard. It's not too crazy. And you're probably already there. Can you look at this? Can you explain the relationships? And you know how to tweak it to get it to where a client would pay you for it. If you can do that, you're ready to go. So that brings us to part two, which is sourcing clients, right? Nobody cares how good you are at creating AI automations if they don't even know you exist. So how do we get them to know you exist? Well, there's four main funnels. First is your warm network. Second is cold outreach. Third is freelancing websites. And fourth is social media. 
All four of these pay off at different speeds. They require a different amount of work up front. But the big thing is you need to do all four of these simultaneously at the beginning because A, volume is your friend. B, you're going to suck at all of them. So you need to start practicing. And C, you have no idea which ones will work for you in particular. And so you have to cast a very wide net. And then over time, as you figure out what works, then you double down on it. You can't start doubling down on social media before you've done a single post. You can't start doubling down on freelancing websites if you haven't even tried cold outreach or reach out to your warm network, right? You got to try them all, which is why it's so much work at the beginning, but it pays off in dividends if you actually commit. So first things first, your warm network. We're thinking like LinkedIn. We're thinking our friends, family, coworkers, someone you've actually talked to in real life and actually cares about you. The big thing with the warm network is this. It's not a hard sell. You're literally going to talk to your friends and family and you're going to say something along the lines of just like, hey, I'm just starting this new business. I'm starting this new AI agency. This is what it's about. Do you know anybody who would be interested? That's it. That's as hard of a sell as you do, right? And hopefully they'll be able to read between the lines and understand, oh yeah, this guy, he creates personal assistance. He creates rec. He creates AI stuff. Maybe I'm interested, but maybe I'm not. I know a guy, right? You want to get in with your warm network as soon as possible because it pays off the fastest. The warm network is going to give you more work more quickly than cold outreach freelancing or social media ever will. And it's easier to do, right? You're just reaching out to people. If you're able to get over the cringe factor of letting people know what you're actually trying to do for a living now. Number two on the list is cold outreach. And for this, we're thinking of things like cold email campaigns. You're talking to people who have no idea who you are and you're trying to let them know what you're doing. Now, this is a great place to start actually putting these AI automations that you've spent way too much time learning into effect. For example, do you have some sort of lead generation automation? You should, people love to buy those, and this is a perfect place to actually put it into practice, right? Here's one, for example, that kind of scrapes LinkedIn via Apollo, creates custom messaging, and then puts it into Instantly. Instantly is an awesome website that allows you to conduct cold campaigns at scale and customize your messaging. Here's the big thing when it comes to cold outreach. You need a ton of volume, minimum you're sending out a thousand a month, and you need some sort of way to write good copy, which is the actual emails themselves. How do you make it sound like each email was a one for one, that you just emailed them, did research on them, and they weren't one dude out of a thousand that you actually looked up? Now, third on the list are freelancing websites. We're thinking Upwork or a freelancer. These are websites where you bid for jobs. Now, they can sometimes get a bad rap, but understand, there's leads there, they have work, they have money, and they're all in one place. There is a benefit to it, especially at the beginning, because not only are you bidding on work, what you're really doing is you're learning how to pitch yourself, who you are, what you're about, why they should care, and why you're right for the job. That is something like all of these skills you are gonna suck at really badly at the beginning, and this is a place where you can practice that at scale at a low risk. And last on the list is social media. It's going to have the longest burn of all these. It's going to take the most amount of work up front before you see any sort of ROI from social media. You are going to have to commit to posting on LinkedIn, YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, wherever a hundred times with zero positive feedback before anyone cares. And before the first inbound lead comes in. However, once they start coming in, the ROI on social media is kind of ridiculous. Whether you make a post for one person or 10 million people, it's the same amount of work. And once that ball gets rolling, it doesn't stop. So I talk about LinkedIn in particular because it's the lowest barrier of entry for most people. Most people are afraid to put their face out there on video, and I get it. However, you need to commit to some place that you're gonna create content. And I think LinkedIn is a great spot. It's business oriented. You can just start with writing, and it lets you slowly ease into the idea of posting what you're doing on social media. And eventually you should be pushing stuff on Twitter. You should be pushing stuff on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, wherever, because you don't know where those inbound leads live and you can't discriminate wherever they come from, right? You need work. So to sum it up, these are the four funnels you really need to think about how are you going to attack and source clients. And you should be thinking more about this than you're thinking about this, this, or this, because I promise you, you know enough about this already. You really do. Your problem is finding leads, right? So get off the YouTube automation tutorials from someone who makes YouTube automation tutorials. If you're really serious about making money and start thinking less like a developer and start thinking more like an agency owner, because that's what you are. So I hope this video was somewhat helpful with kind of reinforcing the idea that you already know enough already when it comes to AI. You're not just one more tutorial away. You really need to start focusing on the things that actually generate revenue, which is sourcing clients. Now, here comes the time for the plug. I have Chase AI Plus, which is all about more of the like 
how to do it. Like, great. Those are the four funnels. How do I actually do cold outreach? How do I actually do social media, et cetera? I have all that in my premium community, the Chase AI Plus one. If you're looking just for templates like this guy, this guy, this guy, those are all in the free school community. Go ahead, sign up there. All the templates are free to download. So I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments. And as always, I'll see you around.